No guarantee. Prepare to meet your God this day by seeking out his narrow way, for nothing has been promised you that you will have tomorrow too. Though many think themselves so wise in daily plan, as they surmise their course as though there were no end to living in this world of sin, and think that they can choose to do the evil things self brings them to, while knowing not the devil's plan to rule the world and punish man. For how we think the little things that brought on Christ his suffering to save the souls of fallen men upon the cross they built for him, could be so easily passed by as though they did not cause to die the Christ, who is our loving Lord, by all the host above adored. And think that we who are but dust should here demand that Jesus must accommodate our selfish whims that otherwise abandon him. Is truly our insanity that's purely based on vanity that does not try to comprehend that without Christ our lives will end in painful, lost obscurity because of all the history of our rejection of the plan conceived by God to save the man who would accept the price he paid when on the cross our Savior laid the mighty God of humble birth, divinity that came to earth to here provide the only way to save the souls of those who strayed from walking in the law of light that saves us from eternal night. For if he could but reach to them who brought the pain of death on him and show them through his mighty grace the power of God to help them face the devil and his ruthless hordes, who likewise owe to Christ the Lord the breath of life he gives to them, that will return one day to him, then maybe through his matchless love that flows like rivulets from above to captivate the hearts of those who will respond because the close of our probation set in time by him who holds the hands of time we will the more his glory see as we meet him on bended knee. For reference, Exodus 20, verses 4 through 6, and Psalms 95, verses 6 through 11.